Hey everyone, my name is Nick Semrod here with Sequential and today I'm going to show you how we can take a sound and combine two different envelopes, one with an extremely short release and one with a longer release to give us some interesting tones. Um, I'm going to be using the Prophet 6 to show you this trick, but you'll be able to do this on most of Sequential's boards, anything from the OB6, the Prophet 6, the Rev2, the Prophet X, Pro3, etc. Let me show you what I mean. Alright everyone, so for this patch we're going to start with a basic patch, so we're going to hold preset and write. Okay, and I do want to use a square wave for this, so let's go up to shape, make sure our pulse width is at midnight, turn oscillator 1 up, all the other oscillators down. Okay, so we have a nice square wave there. Um, we're going to make this unison, but we're only going to have it be one voice just because we don't want to get too punchy although I do want to add quite a bit of distortion just to give it some flavor so let's put distortion at about 3 p.m. okay and next we're going to affect the key mode and have it be last okay from here um, on any other sequential board um, like the Rev 2 or the X or the Pro 3, you'll be able to use an auxiliary envelope to do this. But here, we're going to use the polymod section. So I'm going to let frequency 1 be the target of our envelope, have the filter envelope be all the way negative so that our pitch is dropping. And now to do the ADSR of the envelope, we're going to have the attack be around 9 o'clock. Decay won't matter, sustain will be all the, all the way up, sustain will be all the way up, sorry. And then our release is going to be extremely short, so next to zero. And then for the amp envelope, I'm going to have a longer release so that we actually hear kind of the recovery of the sound as well. So when I play this, you have both the pitch dropping, of which you can hear, and then when I take my hand off the key, you get that second distinct, you know, a few octave up tone. Okay, so to give this a little bit more flavor, I'm going to put a little bit of chorus on it. So go over here to the effects, put the chorus at around, let's do 5 and 100. And we're going to make sure we just have a little bit of hall reverb here. So I'll put it at about 8 or so. Okay, so now you can kind of hear where we're going with this. Now... One of the interesting things with this sound is that it actually kind of requires a specific technique to play. So if you watched my previous video in which I did the kind of sidechain effects uh, thing on the Pro 3, what you'll notice is that you you can kind of approach playing this a few different ways. I can I can play really legato and kind of keep the tone low, and then it won't release until I come up. Or I can play the notes very staccato so that I only get the released high note. So a really good way to practice this is to do something like playing scales and giving yourselves like three legato notes, three or four legato notes, and then let the rhythm of the envelope releasing hit and have that be actually like a rhythmic kind of idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play three notes and then release on the fourth rhythm, on the fourth beat. So if I'm playing this in time, it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So you can get really used to phrasing and doing kind of lines where you're, com you're combining all these things. And you can actually combine the staccato notes as well by going one, two, three, four, staccato, staccato, staccato. So you can do different rhythms and kind of have it all come together. Now here would be an example of me doing the same kind of idea, but with a filter envelope. Alright y'all, so go ahead and try building that one, try practicing it the way that I showed you, and make sure you tag both me and Sequential in what you're doing so we can see what it sounds like. Thanks y'all.